you guys have questions for me and I've got answers. So if you're interested in a little Q&A, stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea, if you're new here. I like handbags, accessories, and uh, sometimes some vlogs. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button. And welcome to the Babe Cave. <laughs> and I put a post out on Instagram and also on my community post. And I got some interesting questions that you all asked. <laughs> And apparently says what wants to know about Luna, which is my Doberman. I'll pop up a picture. And so. today is a collaboration with Maria Louise Loves Luxuries. And she also was putting out a Q&A to her audience, which I'm sure we have some of the similar audience. But so we're both popping the video together on the same day. So... Thank you, Maria, for doing this collab. Um, so let's get on with the questions. <clears throat> no particular order. I just This one is, where do I work? I work at home. I work here. I'm a reseller. I have some purses in a little boutique in a small town that I also sell purses. Um, but yeah, mainly I'm YouTube, stay-at-home mom, and reseller is my work. When did the love of handbags begin? <laughs> and, you know, I don't think I was necessarily a kid that loved purses unless I put candy or, you know, toys or a hairbrush or something. I think the real handbag addiction became when I was about 20. So it's been going on probably 25, yeah, about 25 years. <laughs> so basically, I think I started noticing Coach, of course, is my first love uh, of a handbag is Coach. And I have the most Coach bags because that, that was the first bag that I really wanted. And, you know, my budget was low, so I had the outlet bags at first. So that is probably in my 20s is when it really began to ramp up. What inspired you to do YouTube? My husband. <laughs> and I already answered this question, but in case you missed it, I started watching YouTube in the era of 2020, which we all know what that was uh, and the reason why. <laughs> I never watched YouTube before 2020. I didn't know a lot about it, didn't know that there was like communities of handbag lovers like me, had no idea of any of that until 2020. <laughs> and a year later, I had kind of thought about starting one, but I'm like, no, I'm too scared. I was too introverted. I, I can't talk. I can't, I can't be on camera. No, 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 no. And he's like, just do it. And so I did. And my first few videos are laughable kind of because a lot of people were like well I don't hear anything because <laughs> I was scared to talk and now look at me talking and in on camera the whole thing but yeah so my husband is the one that got me to to be on YouTube favorite hobbies other than YouTube uh well, I like to paint my nails. I like to work out. Uh, we like to go on road trips. I mean, I don't know if those are hobbies necessarily, but, you know, I like to bake. I like to cook now. I didn't used to like to cook. I didn't think it... I, I thought my best dish was a casserole because you can throw it all in a bowl and then put it in a pan. But I'm I enjoy cooking for my family now. I like baking. I've always liked baking. So those are, you know, kind of my hobbies too. But and a collector of handbags, of course. This next question is have you traveled outside the US? Yes, I have. I have went to Mexico, uh, uh, probably five, at least five times. 
me and my husband got married in Mexico, actually. Riviera Maya, Mexico, and it was fabulous. We had a beach wedding. It was hot. I wanted to rip my wedding dress off, <laughs> but it was beautiful and I wouldn't take it back. I always wanted a, a wedding on the beach, so I'm a more of a summer travel type of person, not a go to the ski, the snow ski Aspen or you know any kind of cold traveling I don't really do we just go to the beach but um, yes I've been there I've been to Grand Cayman Jamaica St. Martin I think that's it <laughs> so yes have been out of the United States but now my passport is expired so if we do plan on going outside the US I'm gonna need a passport <laughs> Where would you like to be in five years? Hmm. On YouTube, making a lot of money, and enjoying handbags as much as I do now, and traveling more, and growing my channel, making more friends. I, I like this community. I've made a lot of friends on this channel, on this journey. <clears throat> so... Five years, I hope to have met up with some YouTubers by then. That would be fun. I'd like to still be a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> I uh, am enjoying this YouTube reselling journey that I'm on. I hope to build that, make it bigger, find more bags that are a steal so I can resell them. So that's my plan for five years. Still basically where I'm at, but more growing, so... That's what I plan. This next question, will you ever downsize your collection? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's not true. Um, I think that there are points in the year where I don't buy. I don't have the urge to grab a coach or a Dooney or, and you know, I sometimes purge at, all at one time too. Like I've sold probably four or five of my purses in the matter of two months. So I downsize, I add, I downsize, I add. <laughs> Do I think that I'm going to have, you know, 10 to 20 handbags? No. I'm a collector of handbags. They make me happy. I mean, I know they're materials, materialistic, you know, but other people have collections that are not handbags, but that is my collection and you know I'm probably gonna enjoy them and carry them and uh, hopefully pass on to my daughter one day so they can be her collection if she even likes that if not you know that's that's on her but yeah I'll probably always have a lot of handbags and that's Nova back there I think she wanted to be in the shot Nova There's Nov. <laughs> so, no, I don't plan on downsizing a whole lot. But, yes, I try not to... I try not to get too many. Like, I, I mean, I, I have to carry them. I want to be able to carry them. Some bags I'm okay with sitting on a shelf. But a lot of times I carry all my bags. I don't plan on downsizing. What is your dream bag? You know, I used to think I wanted a Chanel flap, and I'm not so sure that I want that anymore. But I do want a Chanel bag and a Fendi and a Gucci bag in my collection. I don't know what my dream bag is, because my unicorn was the, which I'm not sure you can see, the uh, Louis Vuitton Speedy multicolor um, was my dream my basically my unicorn bag but yeah I I I want to own at least one Chanel bag so I don't know that there's a dream bag for me I just <laughs> this is funny will you actually let your daughter use your bags in high school or college 
yes, I will. I've actually gave her some of my bags, you know. She's now got her own little storage area for her purses and a lot of them came from me and I've gotten her some Timu purses. She benefits from my purses <laughs> and she probably will end up borrowing some of my handbags. If she's moved out of the house, I don't know if I'm going to let her borrow one of my bags then. <laughs> like, I want it to stay in my house, so I will let her use them, it depending. But she's pretty responsible with her stuff. You know, ever since she got a phone, she always carries it in a purse, and she never leaves it. I mean, she is one of those rare kids that has barely lost stuff at school like she barely she left a coat one day possibly one day um never never had an issue with her losing her things so I would definitely let her borrow my purse I just would want her to take really good care of it <laughs> do you have a favorite brand of bag yes it's coach coach will probably always be my favorite brand I just I always go back to coach and do needs a quick second. Favorite handbag silhouette. Um, lately it is the East West version. Shoulder bag seems to be what I'm liking a lot. Quick, easy, just throw on my shoulder or the sling bags. I'm, I'm into like small and shoulder or my Lululemons. I, I like those bags too. Why did I come to YouTube? I already said. <clears throat> First luxury handbag purchase as an adult. That would be, this is my first luxury handbag purchase as an adult. For, and it was from DCT Vintage Japan, from Japan. And I believe it's from 2002. It's not in the greatest shape, but I only paid for this is a speedy 30 i paid 286 dollars and it still has the tab you know sometimes they come without these tabs it still looks pretty good it's a little you know the piping still good but it's darkened so yeah this is my very first what i bought myself as a luxury handbag is the speedy 30 which probably is what a lot of people do <laughs> i don't carry it that much i need to bring her back out but some darkening not not terrible this doesn't bother me so yeah the speedy 30 was my first adult person. what are your other interests i kind of already went over that cooking baking spending time with my husband we also love to watch little tv series because we're we're best friends and we like to watch things together and hang out <laughs> whether it's dates or staying inside and and watching movies <clears throat> this question what made you fall in love with handbags <laughs> i'm not really sure uh my mom is not a huge handbag person I mean, I've introduced her to some bags and she carries them till the wheels fall off, but I just always have admired them and thought they were pretty and th I like the leather smell and <laughs> they, it just brings a smile to my face. I don't know. <laughs> ah, does your family know about your bag collection? Yes, they do. Uh, they know because I have a channel and uh, they also have been to my house, come to this room, the babe cave. <laughs> and uh, we, you know, I'm not ashamed of it. It's my collection. And so, yeah, most everyone that meets me and my husband and my daughter knows about my collection. <laughs> and what do they think about it? You know, it's... It's our money. It's none of their business what I spend my money and my husband's money on. So uh, I don't really care what they think about it. Uh, everyone collects things in their own way, whether it be shoes or bags or cars or watches, jewelry. I think that 
everyone spends their money differently and if you are the one paying for it it's I don't really care what they think about it uh, this is a good one do you set monthly or budget a monthly or budget for your handbag hobby uh, okay typically I like to have one in one out when I'm purchasing and I also don't necessarily like to put things on credit card now I will use a firm and Klarna but once I have the bag I want to pay off the bag before I even think about another bag now that doesn't always happen <laughs> I'm gonna be honest here um, like this one <clears throat> my coach soft denim tabby that I still you know get Rakuten back I got the percent off I am gonna be paying on this for a few months but that doesn't bother me I'll pay it off and I'm sure that after I do I'll, there'll be something else on my radar you never know <laughs> but I knew that I would regret not getting that if I didn't so I really don't have a set budget but I definitely make sure that the funds are there that I've paid all my bills and I like to pay off the one before purchasing a new one. Uh, have you ever sold a bag and regretted it? No. There is not a bag that I can think of that I regret selling. Because they didn't work out for me for one reason or another. They may have been beautiful bags. But for some reason they didn't fit you know, my lifestyle. Or I wasn't reaching for them. I didn't really need them in my collection so no I don't have any regrets when I sell typically no I don't I don't have any okay these are from says what to Luna and I asked her <laughs> she asked how <laughs> how do you keep your teeth so white <laughs> I'll pop in the picture of Luna and she is a uh, almost three-year-old Doberman and she has the whitest teeth because she chews on bones constantly. And we don't brush her teeth or anything, but she's always got bones to chew on. And so that is why her teeth are so white. <laughs> and has Hollywood contacted you yet? They should. <laughs> I would like to get some money for her. <laughs> she was not cheap. <laughs> but no, <laughs> she's only a... She's only a star on my channel and she's usually in my short videos and she's that goofy. Like she is a goofy Doberman. It, I don't know why people think that Dobermans are scary. They're very loyal, yes, and very sweet. And I, I've not had any issues with that one back there is a blue Doberman and she's the sweetest and Anytime she hears my voice, she will come running. <laughs> but Luna, yeah, she's she's dopey and she's fun. <clears throat> Last one for Luna. Why do you lack nose hair? Because she's a dog. <laughs> so that does it. Thank you for sticking around and listening to me talk about myself. <laughs> and thanks for submitting the questions. I appreciate it. Those were fun. And uh, if you don't mind, hit the like, subscribe, comment down below what you think. And uh, if you're not subscribed, why not? Do it now. And also hit the bell so you won't miss my videos. And maybe I'll do another Q&A in the future. It was a lot of fun. Maybe some different questions will get thrown at me at that point. I'm going to get off here and I appreciate you all. And thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.